Hey guys, Austin here with the pregame report between the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. Some game day notes before we get into today's pregame report though. Edmonton has won a season high and franchise tie ninth straight winning streak. They look to make history with a win tonight against the Montreal Canadiens by winning their 10th straight game, something the Oilers have never done even with the powerhouse Oilers of the 80s. That team never won 10 straight games, so it would be nice to see some history tonight. These two teams are always very, very entertaining to watch. The crowd is always full of fans of both teams and expect to hear some heckling and chanting throughout the game. And in the past six meetings between Edmonton and Montreal, the Oilers hold a 4-2 and two record with a goal differential of 22-19. to 19. But if we break this down just a little bit further, though, in the last three games against Edmonton, Montreal has defeated them twice and they've outscored Edmonton 14-9 to nine in the last three games. So the Oilers have to be ready for this game. The Habs always show up for these types of games. Empton has to get off to an early lead and then start playing their game. I really liked their game against Detroit. They were patient, but they also pressed the issue. I found against Chicago, they were too patient. They were getting jumped on, and then they never actually recovered throughout the game. So... Just keep playing like they did against Detroit. Bring that game and attitude and uh, effort against Montreal, and things should be fine in oil country. Now, I think Montreal has surprised a lot of fans and teams in the NHL this season with the fact that they have hung around the 500 mark and they have kept pace in a playoff race. However, over the last couple of weeks, they have been losing ground, and I just don't see how they make that ground up anymore considering their poor advanced metrics. This is a team that continues to need to embrace a rebuild further, and they need to start losing a little bit more to obtain another top five pick. In my opinion, they are close, but not quite there. With that out of the way, you guys, let's get into the pregame report. For Montreal, they are 17, 18, and 6. They are 3, 5, and 2 in their last 10 games. Their expected goals for percentage is ranked 27th at 46.22%. Their power play is ranked 22nd at 17.7%. Their penalty kill is ranked 28th at 73%. They score 2.71 goals per game, which ranks 28th. They give up 3.39 goals per game, which ranks 24th. And they have a team save percentage of 89.70% at even strength, which ranks 16th. So they give up a lot of goals, but the team save percentage is actually pretty respectable. So they give up a lot of chances. They give up a lot of shots. This is a team that on paper, Emden should be able to dominate in the offensive zone. But speaking of the Oilers, let's head over to that right side on our screen here. They are 22, 15, and 1. And of course, they are 9 and 1 in their last 10 games. Those nine wins coming consecutively over the past several weeks. Their expected goals for is back to first place in the NHL. They are 58.30%. Their power play is dipping just slightly, but they are still seventh in the league at 25.4%. Emden's penalty kill has been phenomenal over the last several weeks. It ranks 12th in the league at 81.2%. Emden scores 3.53 goals per game, which ranks 6th. They give up 3.05 goals per game, which ranks 13th. And their team save percentage is at ninth spot now at 90.58%. Pretty much all aspects of the game that were killing the Oilers earlier this season, save percentage, goals against, penalty kill, that has all been massively improved under Chris Knobloch, and we love to see it. Now, my score prediction and player to watch, they're usually blanked out, and then I pop them up on the screen, but obviously you guys have been able to see that the whole time. Uh, my score prediction is 5-2 Oilers. My player to watch is Connor McDavid. It is Connor McDavid's 27th birthday today, and and I have a feeling that on his birthday, it's Saturday, it's Hockey Night in Canada, it's an early game. The team has a couple days off after today. I think he is going to be flying out there. Don't be surprised to see a Mc4 or a Mc5 point night. Just throwing that out there. Now, as always, guys, I want to know what your game day predictions are. Whatever you think is going to happen in the game, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. And as a reminder, I did upload a power rankings video yesterday. I made kind of a tier list. I did. It was a mostly fun video, and most fans took it uh, with, with a grain of salt, of course, and they had some fun with it. There were some fans that were a little too intense. I never thought I would see the day that I would call the Vancouver Canucks a Stanley Cup contender and then have Canucks fans still mad that I called them a contender. I, it's very fun. It's very fun, you guys. I'm having lots of fun with it. I, I promise. Go check that video out if you have not seen it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I got nothing else for you for now. I will see you in the post game debrief after the game. So you guys have a wonderful night, and we will see you soon. Take care.